Dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, next year, 2022, will mark 150 years from the passing of Nikolaos Chalkiopoulos Manzaros, largely known as the composer of the music for the first five stanzas of the Greek national anthem for piano and choir, he otherwise remains obscure among European, Western, and even Greek musical composers. Among the Greeks who do know of his works, focus has been concentrated mostly on his few works for piano, some songs, and a small number of polyphonic music for Greek ecclesiastic liturgy. While all Greeks know the music to the Greek national anthem, they know, at best, little else about this otherwise fascinating and innovative composer. And yet, Manzaros is the composer of the first surviving opera by a Greek, Don Crepusculo, 1815, the first known work in Greek for voice and orchestra, Aria Grecal, 1827, composer of the first known Greek works for string quartet, the Partimenti, circa 1850, composer of the first Greek piano repertoire, the first Greek fugue, the first composer of a Greek symphony, the author of the first musical essay analysis in Greece, Rapporto, 1851, and the author of the first pedagogical music books in Greece. His European contemporaries, however, considered Manzaros as a mediocre composer. They ignorantly, or possibly out of envy, relegated his works to the so-called Italian school of Greek composition, and they limited their praise to his composition of the music of the Greek national anthem. As a consequence, the available works of Manzaros would only be discovered and considered equal in value and creativity to those of the great European composers of the 17th century more than 100 years later, incidentally, by master European composers. More importantly, those modern composers realized that the genius in Manzaros' compositions lay in his masterful marriage of Eastern musical elements into Western polyphony. Manzaros wove Eastern elements into German, Italian, and French musical tapestries and presented the products inside musical canvases of the unique musical polyphonic tradition of the Greek island of Corfu. Among the unknown works of Manzaros are his musical compositions for theater. Notable in these is his skillful use of corno di bassetto and corno inglesi, with an interesting harmonic language in a style that mixes elements of Mozart, Haydn, and Cimarosa with elements of early German and Italian Romanticism, for example, Beethoven, Weber, Bellini, and, to a lesser extent, Rossini. In 1823, Manzaros left Corfu and after a short tour of various cities in Italy, he settled in Naples, where he came to know and began a two-year study alongside the famous composer and music educator Nicolas Zingarelli, then director of the San Sebastiano Conservatory. Manzaros' acquaintance with a Neapolitan composer dated back to 1821, when Zingarelli seems to have visited Corfu. During his stay in Corfu, he developed social contacts with various families of the island, including that of Manzaros, who were of aristocratic descent and who maintained this status. Zingarelli had recognized Manzaros's talent and, as a consequence, the two musicians kept in touch. The apprenticeship of Manzaros next to Zingarelli is a result of both his relationship with the composer and the fact that Naples was, at that time, recognized as the most important training center for young composers, a reputation that remained until the time of Verdi. In the sense, as concerns Greek composers, Naples emerged as the alma mater of the so-called school of Ionian Greek music. Manzaros had the reputation of being an excellent connoisseur of counterpoint and never stopped engaging in this top kind of polyphonic form. In fact, he attached special importance to counterpoint, not only in relation to its pedagogical character, but especially for its value as an artistic medium. This is evidenced by the many musical works which are based on counterpoint. 
As a music educator, Manzaros wrote on counterpoint in his treatise Studio Pratico di Contrapunto, the practical study of counterpoint, which remains unfortunately unpublished. One can therefore consider Manzaros' work, the Twelve Fugues, inside his mastery of counterpoint. They were composed in poetic Italian for mixed choir and piano and published in Naples in 1826. In the introduction to the compositions, Manzaros notes how the fugues used the musical starting points from Zingarelli's Partimenti as their structural basis, and he used this to honor Zingarelli, to whom he dedicated these compositions. The term Partimento, singular, Partimenti, plural, begins to appear in Italian musical compositions in the 16th century, and these compositions remained in vogue until the 19th century. At first, the term partimenti was used synonymously for what eventually came to be known as basso continuo, continuous bass musical passages, but very soon the term was used to indicate a particular practice of solo improvisation on keyboards. These improvisations were based on already recorded melodic lines, usually bass, of which the performer was called upon to form a self-contained piece of music. This form of improvisation in bass eventually matured into a self-contained musical art form, mainly in Naples, during the late Baroque period, that is the first half of the 18th century. At the time of Classicism, however, the Partimento was used not as an improvisational art, but as educational material for teaching harmony, counterpoint, and morphology, essentially composition. In the second half of the 18th century, many Partimenti collections were published, which were intended for thematic musical elaboration by students studying composition at the most renowned Neapolitan conser conservatories. The most popular and effective of these musical collections was that of Fedele Fenaroli, who had apprenticed under Francesco Durante in the early 17th century, the most renowned and respected teacher of the famous Neapolitan School of Music. Fenaroli's collection, entitled Partimenti Ossia Basso Numerato, Partitions or Numbered Bass, was published around 1800, and during the 19th century it was widely used in the conservatories of Naples and conservatories in other major Italian cities. Fenaroli's collection consists of six books, which contain partimenti of gradual difficulty, starting with simple pieces of just a few meters, ending with pieces of large duration that consist of counterpoint and fugue. By the mid-1820s, Manzaros, already famous in his homeland as a composer and teacher, visited Naples and stayed there for about two years, studying and teaching at the San Sebastiano Conservatory. There, he came to know Fenaroli's Partimenti and returning to Corfu, continuing his huge importance for modern Greek music, didactic work, he implemented them as a means of teaching counterpoint. In fact, he decided to edit all of the Partimenti in the last two of Fenaroli's books, selecting those for the specific reason that they contain mainly fugues accompanied by preludes, canon, and other forms of counterpoint. These elaborations are preserved today in three manuscripts. It is among these that we selected to present today as an introduction to the lesser-known Manzaros beyond his composition of the music to the Greek national anthem. These compositions, products of harmony and counterpoint elaborations, are widely thought as joint works of Fenaroli and Manzaros. They could be used in two ways. First, to inspire students, and second, as musical creations suitable for performance on a keyboard or by a string quartet. The latter possibility is offered by Manzaros himself, who, in his introduction to these compositions, notes the special value of these elaborations, thereby demonstrating them to be the oldest chamber music by a Greek composer. Respectful of the character of the neo-baroque style of Fenaroli, Manzaros has taken advantage of the given material and has created pieces with structural balance and thematic unity. I would like to now present four 
stellar musicians, each highly distinguished virtuosi who have earned accolades and awards in the U.S. that are too numerous to mention tonight. They have graciously accepted our invitation to participate in our celebrations commemorating the bicentennial of the Greek Revolution, and they now come together to present three of Manzaros's Partimenti for the first time here in the USA. Unfortunately, the coronavirus pandemic has prevented us from immersing ourselves in their virtuosity in an appropriate musical venue, and therefore we can only enjoy and appreciate their musical excellence virtually. Dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, I present Miss Thera Altunin, first violin, Miss Kira Wood, second violin, Miss Lily Jensen, viola, and Miss Sarah Steger, cello.